come back now. Let us go ahead with <coughs> the execution of script. So we were going to type the command for executing our test suite. Command for executing our test suite using Selenium remote control. Okay. Java iPhone jar space I'm just typing out the command okay see this command java iphone jar java space iphone jar space selenium server standalone dot jar this is one important command because this is the one which initiates the selenium server I want you all to follow it clearly okay please follow it clearly now this is the one which executes the server okay and makes the server live okay let us try this command first to see what happens let us try this command first to see what happens. You all know that inside this directory right now, I have my jar file. Okay, I have my jar file right here. I'm going to perform that command here. Type it and then execute it. Selenium server standalone dot jar. I'm going to type enter. The moment I type enter, Okay, the moment I type here there, there is a series of statements which are printed. Okay, it says that launching a standalone server. Okay, which means the Selenium remote control server is up and running right now. Okay, it is up and running right now in our port 4444. I hope you guys. Uh, have an understanding about port numbers and everything okay in my system in my laptop the selenium server is running on the port number 4444 this is what happens when I execute this command java iphone jar standalone server standalone this is called initiating or invoking the server okay whenever we try to execute script through Eclipse we should make sure that this has been started okay that is the reason I executed this command separately and you should know about what happens if it is executed that is why this has been shown now let me stop it to stop it you can press the keyboard shortcut control C you can press the keyboard shortcut control plus C which means break break the operation okay back to our test suite execution back to our test suite execution java iphone jar selenium server standalone okay now i'm going to start passing parameters i'm going to start passing parameters i'll say iphone html suite html suite and say star firefox Okay, I have added two more parameters here. Java iPhone jar is used for invoking jar files. Okay, Java iPhone jar is used for invoking jar files. Now the jar file has been passed as the first argument or a parameter. Okay, you can say whatever you want. It can be an argument or it can be a parameter whenever it is a function which is passed in application level we say it as a pa parameter but this is passed in OS level because we are directly passing a command to the operating system I can call it as an argument 
okay so first argument is selenium server standalone second is html suite okay which means i am going to execute a html based suite Okay. Remember the coding we saw when we tried to open the test suite which we created. Okay, raise your hand if you remember that. What was the code you saw when we tried to open this test case in Notepad plus plus? Right now I am displaying it in my window. What is this you see? It is a HTML based code, an XML representation of our test suite. Okay. Now, that is what I am saying right here. Okay. If you do not understand it, please let me, uh, please let you ask questions because these are very, very critical to understand Selenium. Okay. That is why so much effort is put on explanation of this single command. HTML suite okay which means I am going to pass a suite which is a HTML based suite and Firefox is the browser which it should use so that is why I am naming it as star Firefox this is just a syntax you may ask why, are, why you are putting a star this is just a syntax the next thing which means the fourth argument which I am going to pass is HTTP colon slash slash examples dot code charge dot com one sec examples dot code charge dot com okay I think it is examples correct it is not example right okay examples that's right so examples.codecharge.com next one is next one is our suite name suit name I'm going to make a single modification in my test suite I'm going to name it as .html I'm renaming the file as .html okay so whenever I double click it, it directly opens it in the HTML browser. Did you notice what happened here? Did you notice what happened here? Hernandez, I do not understand your question. So this is the HTML suite and I am having three test cases which are linked okay now I want you to correlate between the ideas of what happens when you open the test suite in IDE all these three test cases are displayed and whenever I open the brow open it using the browser I see these three three links okay which means I'll be able to navigate 